Just after the tragic earthquake in Port-au-Prince, I traveled to Haiti with a team of doctors and nurses. For a week, they cared for boys and girls in a clinic, all with amputations. At the end of the week, John, my lead doctor, he turned to me and he said, Palmer, he said, why does God allow earthquakes? It's in moments like that when, as Christians, we tend to give really cheap answers. And we say things like, God will never give you more than you can handle. But that's not even in the Bible. Sometimes we have a lot more than we can handle. If you're a nine-year-old Haitian boy and your leg has just been amputated, then you've been given much more than you can handle. We tend to try to make excuses for God because we're afraid that people might think God is asleep. And I want to tell you right now that you have a God that can't sleep. I say God can't sleep because when his son Jesus was here, he was for the poor, he was for the oppressed, he was for the hungry. Jesus was bothered by what was not right in this world. I was bothered recently when I was doing a radio interview with a station out of Ohio when a person called in and they said, Palmer, I have to disagree with you. They said, I don't think people have to leave Ohio to help heal a broken world. He said, we have enough problems of our own right here. And I said, really? I said, in Ohio, do babies die every 30 seconds from malaria? Because that's what's happening in Africa. I said, in, in Ohio, are six-year-old girls being sold for sex? Because that's what's happening in Thailand. I said, in Ohio, when mothers run out of flour, do they start making cookies out of mud? Because that's what mothers in Haiti are doing. They say at least it takes the hunger pangs away. I hope you get this, that this world may be a broken place, but it doesn't have to be that way. Because God wants to use your one and your very important life to change that. I'm having trouble sleeping at night. I was in Haiti last week and I was driving through Port-au-Prince with my team when I looked out the window and I saw what I thought was a fight. But as we got closer, I realized it was a man with a branch beating a woman. And so I grabbed the shoulder of my driver and I said, Arrête, Arrête, stop, stop. And he slowed down and just when I was about to get out of the car, he hit the gas and he just kept going. That night I laid in bed and I, I couldn't sleep. And I want you to know that life is like that. When you see something in this world that is really messed up, you have to do something now. That, that glimpse out the window, it passes so quickly. Don't let it pass. Don't sleep.